if your comedy is turning off a significant part of the audience, is that bad or good for comedy or indifferent? Well, uh, we, we, uh, consumers of comedy um, select their comedy very carefully. They don't, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure how many Trump, pro-Trump comedians are out there um, on the circuit, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know that Trump lovers uh, necessarily spend lots of time watching Jimmy Kimmel and yelling at the television. You know, they, they, everybody's got a remote control these days, and uh, I think they're probably uh, more have an idea in their mind of what Jimmy Kimmel does as opposed to actually watching Jimmy Kimmel every night and becoming enraged by him. PJ, do you want to respond to that? Yeah, I, uh, I, it is interesting that, that one of the points we, we're, we're coming up against here is the focused audience as opposed to the, to the diverse audience or the inclusive audience. And um, I would argue that while the humor uh, uh, to be had out of the Clinton administration, and there was plenty of it, was fairly, you know, uh, uh, fairly concentrated in its subject, Monica Lewinsky, uh, but uh, uh, it kind of reached out to everybody, including Clinton supporters. It was hard not, when, 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 when Bill got really foolish acting, it was hard not to laugh at Bill, even if you voted for him and were going to vote for him again and intended to vote for his wife later. Um, and in that respect, uh, uh, it, it was not nearly as divisive, and it was also g good comedy in the sense that, um, uh, that it, it, it showed us what we had in common.